Hey everyone, I'm Angela, and this video is going to be a yin yoga uh, session for the hips. And then at the very end, we'll have a um, guided meditation. So I'll timestamp the yoga and the meditation so you can come back for one or the other or stay for the whole thing. Okay, let's begin. So uh, I got my yoga mat. I have a supportive um, prop that works for me. Make sure that you have that, um, blankets, pillows, yoga blocks, anything, because we hold these poses for some time. And if you haven't seen my um, other yin videos, I always use my phone for timing, okay? So we're going to take a supported lunge. So uh, sending the left leg forward and putting the right leg back. Okay, now you can support yourself here. So this um, bolsters on my thigh and then I can come down um, if uh, getting down to the ground isn't accessible. I may actually go down to the ground today. So establish yourself, make sure it's something you can hold for about five minutes. We're starting, okay, so yourself settled and at any time feel free to close your eyes be sure to breathe <laughs> remove any tension uh, you might be holding on gripping in the muscles Always remember you can have some soft music playing in the background uh, if the silence is a little too much. <laughs> Allow yourself to relax and ease in to your lunge. Never push through pain pull back and remember you can always change your mind so if i thought i went too far in the beginning i'll grab my bolster right you can always be up on your hands Some of you might allow this um, foot that's out in front to roll a little more to the pinky so side of the foot to open up the hips even more, especially that um, inner thigh. So, okay. So rebalance if you're far over to the right, kind of come back to center and you can really open up the leg. I always feel a little bit like Gumby after a good yin hip opener <laughs> when I'm walking around. Feels good. Remember, you can always adjust if you need to, but maintaining a uh, position is ideal over time. You know, you get to know your body. Remember to always uh, experiment from time to time with, uh, you know, if are you more flexible than you thought or today? Or sometimes it's quite the opposite, a little stiffer than we expected. About a minute and a half.
Mm. How you doing? <laughs> So as we prepare to get out of uh, this pose, um, just remember it's ideal to come out um, slowly. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll come up to my hands if I was laying in a bolster, I'd move it to the side and then make sure my foot comes down if you rolled yours out. And then I'm gonna move back. Nice. And then switch sides, but just take a moment before you Jump into that other position, other side, okay? And then we, when you are ready, go ahead and send the other leg forward, okay? So in this case, it's the right foot. Um, if you goofed up, just switch sides, no big deal. Um, honor that this side may need um, something slightly different than the other. Maybe it's a little stiffer, maybe it's a little more flexible, okay? Just honor the uh, differences that our body has, okay? Come down to your forearms if you are. If you don't need any props, that's fine. And uh, we can have a tendency to lean over to the leg that's long on the floor. So I'm gonna come back to that neutral position and you might find that you can roll the foot out in front of you, the right foot in this case out to the pinky toe side edge. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing fine and well. This is being recorded during a time that's unprecedented. So I'm glad that you're um, taking care of yourself and I hope you continue to as you know doors are to open. Yeah, hopefully these habits become instilled in our daily practice to take care of oneself. Be kind to yourself if you ever lose track of any self-care practice that you participate in, uh, especially the one of uh, internal dialogue, right? That's probably number one change that internal dialogue to be supportive and kind and loving to oneself. Encouraging rather than criticizing, right? There's uh, no need for that in this life. Okay, if you need to at all, pull back. Um, if you've discovered you've pushed yourself to a painful position, or if possible, you can. So I'm actually going to roll my foot out a little bit more, open up the hip. Breathe and let go of any tension that might be holding you back. Just a couple more minutes here. See if you can drop through the pelvis for the last few moments here. 
relax, breathe. So again, take it slow. We're going to, I'm going to come up to my hands. Maybe you need to move a prop aside. All right. And you just adjust. Okay. Oh, feels good, huh? All right. So um, the next pose we're uh, going to move into is uh, both sides get taken care of, right? So, um, Frog pose. <laughs> Ian might have a different name for it, but it uh, doesn't matter. Name doesn't matter as much as the position does. So as much on your feet as possible, so flat feet, okay? You might be up on your tippy toes. Always, always, if I didn't mention before, be mindful of your knees. Never hurt your knees. Um, so you can just skip any anything we're doing that hurts your knees if uh, support doesn't help. Um, what you can do here is place this, like I could place this bolster underneath my bottom and start here like this. Um, you can put um, as much or as little encouragement to open up through the knees with your, use of the help of your elbows, okay? When you've established your position that you feel like you can hold for uh, the next uh, few minutes, go ahead and do that. Put your tailbone drop. Keep your back as straight as possible if you can. And relax through the shoulders. But try not to slouch, right? <laughs> Easier said than done, especially if you sit at a computer or desk all day. Okay. Furniture can be quite cumbersome to the body as much as we uh, appreciate it. Somehow it ended up being this, being who never, like sitting at desks. <laughs> I always did my homework on the floor, on my bed. And I, I had a cubby space in my bedroom. A little bit like that now. <laughs> We didn't even know about yoga back then, just like the ground. Mm -hmm. So whether you sit at a desk or not, it only can help us focus, right? This is one of the best positions you can put your body in um, to release your low back, right? Again, be mindful of your knees. So support your bottom as much as you need to, okay? If you noticed, I noticed in the camera here, I was shrugging a little and just straighten up. Wow, oh, is it easy to slouch? Uh, I don't know if that's happening to you at all. Let's sit here. Nice. Okay. Again, just checking my phone to keep track of time, but it screen shuts down. So gotta maybe get myself a digital watch or something.
some of you might be able to even just address um, some more tension at the seat where you can really feel yourself drop in through the tailbone. Yeah, you might feel a little bit of a release, more of a release in, through the sacrum even. Hmm. Okay, so to come on out, I like to come up onto my tippy toes and roll over onto my hands and then lift up. Okay, now if you want to stand up, I think if I stand up, it'll kind of cut my head off the screen. So I'll just back up here a little bit. Okay, keep your movement slow and easy rather than say jerking or like flailing your body around. Um, just keep it, the energies um, slow and gentle. So now we're gonna come down to a seated position, okay? And we'll do, I, the yin yogis call this shoelace. Um, I call it happy cow because my very first yoga teacher called it that. <laughs> so uh, place one leg on the bottom. This is your, for you, this uh, is your left leg and then your right leg, okay? Ops, uh, feet on, um, opposite foot on opposite side of the hip, okay? And to get in, you first just cross your, your legs here, and then you just start to move yourself back to a seated position. And again, if you need to, sit on something, okay? Okay, and also remember that this top knee might go up quite high. I don't know if you can see that with the lighting today, um, but this knee might be up rather high. This foot might be a little more over here, okay? That's all right. For those of you that have a little more flexibility today, go ahead and allow your feet to come further away from the hips, okay? Let this top knee come down more. Okay. And then uh, those of you just going just a little bit further, you can just come all the way down. Uh, <laughs> my very first yoga teacher um, was actually a video. <laughs> I used to watch a show called um, Inhale. And the gentleman's name was Steve Ross. And he played cool music, you know, like Sting and James Brown. <laughs> and there wasn't a lot of flowing. It was just, you did tree pose, you did this pose. And then at the end, he just had the most de decadent um, Shavasana. <laughs> it was the first time I really felt stillness or even really even knew what it was. be a little bit of a busy bee <laughs> so it was useful even more so back then i get asked all the time is it better to practice at home or practice in a community when when we can um i don't know you gotta do what's good for you i know i uh these cardinals it's like they're playing out there sorry you gotta do what's best for you um i take on a home practice because i don't have to wear anything in particular right Just whatever you got on and start <laughs> Maybe do both. Hmm. So if possible, um, 
if you can get yourself a little deeper into your position or maybe you pushed yourself a little too far, you can make some changes for the last few moments here. So if you're going deeper, open up the feet more, lower the knee more, or the body, the chest into the knees. So to come on out, you can just switch legs. Um, I like to come up onto my tippy toes, go slow, we've been here a while, okay? And then just spin yourself around, unwind the legs. <laughs> yeah, and if you got lost, just remember, it's now your right knee on the bottom and left knee on top. <laughs> if you even forgot that, you should be able to tell in short order. <laughs> What side feels a little looser? What side feels a little tighter? And then, um, as always, just acknowledge that this side um, is different than the other, whether it's uh, a little more stiff or a little more flexible. Possibly, right? <sighs> and settle in. Make sure your bottom is touching something. So if it's rolling off the floor, if you're seated on the floor, you know, go ahead and sit on a block or a bolster or even a blanket or pillow. That is the nice thing about a home practice. You can just kind of utilize what you have. <laughs> I have some extra sitting in my life. You know, some of us are um, teaching our littles. <laughs> Never saw that coming. My littles, uh, well, as this is getting recorded, he'll be nine tomorrow. <laughs> it's not so little. It's recess, he's on a break. Thank God. <laughs> How are you guys doing out there? Always feel free to comment, you know, at some point. Let me know what you like. Maybe there's something you'd like to see different in the future. That's cool with me if you tell me. So for the next few moments that we're here, if you need to pull back a little, or if you can go a little bit deeper, do that. Uh, mindful that it's not painful. I have to say that a lot when you have to remember, uh, it's not about pain.
Okay. Slowly let yourself come on up. Come on out. And then let's lay down on the floor. So I'm gonna um, actually grab a kitchen towel right here. If you need to stand up real quick yourself, maybe just to kind of get a good gauge of how you feel, go ahead and do that. So uh, this is another great prop if you don't have a, a yoga strap, okay? So when you're laying down, um, extend um, your left leg out on the floor, okay? And then we're gonna pull the right knee in, okay? And then uh, when possible, go ahead and draw that leg over, okay? And then this is where the um, um, towel might be helpful, okay? So I'm gonna put it at the ball mount of my foot and stretch my leg out. Yeah, and then I'm holding on to the towel. You see that in there? Yeah, okay. If it's possible for some of you, you don't need the towel, you'll just hold the foot, okay? And remember, you never even need to extend that leg out if you don't want to, okay? You can just stay in this position, okay? Uh, whatever, wherever you're finding yourself, go ahead and Oh, shoot. Um, make sure that the right shoulder is down. <laughs> Breathe. And both shoulders on the floor, leg can be straight, the right leg, or it can be bent. Either way, the right seat bone, can you place your attention and like press it like you're trying to press it to the wall that it's facing, okay? So you might even, when you're doing that, push away that way and then you might find some length through the hips some more and even the waist i know my leg actually straightened uh a little bit more too and breathe into all the open spaces the new open space How you doing? Oh yeah. Okay. So always coming out slowly as a as a reminder. Bend the leg if it was straight. You can let go of the towel or the toes. And just neutralize um, coming back to a position where your back is flat on the floor. Okay. Bad out of the way. 
extend the right leg long and then you can with your uh, knee bent here just give it a nice gentle squeeze into your chest and then the guidance right just take the right hand and draw the knee across the body oh yeah right and again use your your towel okay or grab the toes and just make your way into a position that you can hold it's uh four or five minutes yeah speaking of there we go nice perfect all right And again, if you rolled up like the left shoulder, you just gonna set it back down as much as you can. Yeah. And again, it, it sounds subtle, um, but it can be quite powerful is press that seat bone, the left seat bone, right? Away from the rest of the body, right? Ooh, I know I felt my legs straighten out a little bit more. I hope maybe you did too. Some length through the waist here. Feels good even in my feet. This side even more than the other. Does it feel the same or different to you? Hmm. Mm. Mm. Again, press that zip on the way if you can. Close your eyes if you want to. The last DM video I did, I was so tired. I don't know if you're feeling tired or not, but these are wonderful to uh, rejuvenate without doing anything um, overexerting, just in case it's a real depletion of energy. You know, your adrenal glands are exhausted, too much cortisol. Do you remember a lot of uh, activity? when already depleted can just compound uh, the issue, creating more stress, and the body just like hangs on to whatever it can, right? Body temperatures change, sleep patterns, so. Take it easy. And that's happening is best, right? Well, pressing through the seat bone, uh, those of you with your legs long on the floor, with the excuse me, the left leg long, press through the heel. Mm-hmm. 
Wonderful. So go ahead and come on out however you need to, nice and easy, nice and slow. <laughs> Probably not too hard to do that, right? Okay. So we'll come back to a neutral position, flat on our backs, right? And then you pull your knees into your chest, drop your tailbone down. Okay, so you have a couple options here. Um, you can just extend your feet up towards the sky. Make sure the this lower back comes all the way back down if it rolls up. And you can just stay here. If you want to hold on to the feet, you can. And this is also one of those times when you can take your kitchen towel and hold on like this, right, if you want to. Again, drop as much as the tailbone back to the floor, okay? Um, I have no socks on today, so you can kind of see, you just slide your um, one and two piece fingers, pointer finger, middle finger, and then hold on. Okay, some of you might come into more of a fold while being on your back, and that's fine too. How you doing? If you need to pull back or deepen your position, go ahead and do that now. Super, go ahead and come out of whatever position you were in. Okay, so just a little bit of time there. Okay, when you're ready, your soles of the feet are on the floor. And then you can open up your legs out wide if you want to use some props, you sure can do so. Okay, um, I like to have the bolster under my knees. Okay, a lot of times, most of the time like that. Another great thing to do is to lay on your bolster. It's at the lower back or pillows. And then you can just lay down like this. That's really nice too. It's really nice. And as promised, um, We'll do a guided meditation and then there'll be some silence. Okay, so again, I'll timestamp that. So if you just wanna come back for this part, you can at any time. Or maybe you split it up in your day.
So to guide you through the meditation, I'm going to take a seated position. And if you're just coming for the meditation, you can as well. Okay. Close your eyes and settle in, whether you're laying down or seated. Relax. And in your mind, place yourself alongside a stream or a river somewhere. Maybe in your self-created place or a place you've been that you love. And imagine you're seated there, looking at the water. As you're looking at the water, you notice a branch coming down the stream, down the river. It's got this, another smaller branch with a green leaf on it. And as it comes down the river, as it comes down the stream, the green leaf makes you think of a green car you once sat in or drove when you were a teenager. And the branch has gone by as well as the leaf. And you're remembering this time in your life where you were with your friends and laughing and playing and having so much fun in this green car. And although you're in the setting of uh, great be beauty and wonderment, our mind is off somewhere else that it's um, already experienced and not even in the same way that it was way back then. You know, it's more cloudy of exactly what took place. Although this particular time even enjoyable. So see another um, branch coming down the river with another smaller branch and a green leaf again. And instead of falling back into a memory, if you find yourself at all doing that, just say in your mind, neti neti, meaning not this, not that, simply put. Not this, not that. Neti, neti. The branch has gone by, the leaf. And perhaps you're a little more in the present moment. So neti, neti, not this, not that, is this um, concept of coming back to uh, the present moment, the now. So with this time that you have here, I will talk less, but in your mind, at any time when the mind wanders to the past or wanders into the future, just anytime you notice, no matter how long it takes you to notice, just you say the two words, neti neti. Or if you prefer, you could say not this, not that. And the last thing I'll say is, don't worry about how often that happens or how long it takes you to notice you're lost in a thought. Just address it when you notice and begin again to be in the present, the now moment, the only moment we ever have. Neti neti.
Just a few more moments, neti neti. So if you'd like to stay here longer, just pause this video, okay? Otherwise, however you are seated or laying down, start to just create some movement in your fingers, wiggle the toes, you know, I, I'm seated, I just rock a little. You can stretch, that would feel good for you. And then place your hands over your eyes gently, okay? And then when you open your eyes, you can remove your hands when you're ready. Place your hands together, palms touching, hands at heart center, lower the chin. If you're laying down, come up to a seated position and we'll all meet here. Take a moment and just gather in um, any physical work you participated in or just this meditation, the peace, the ease you feel. calm, maybe even happy. Thank you for making yourself a priority today. It was my honor to guide you through these practices. Namaste. Great. Thanks all. So subscribe over here if you want to be notified about more content offered. Uh, remember, there's when you're on the channel, you can go straight to playlists for the content that you want to see um, and explore and be curious as uh, much as you want. And be sure to comment down below what you like or what you'd like to see in the future. Okay. Thanks for visiting. Namaste.